Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Plugged In with the Unchargeables. I am Winslow, and today our topic is going to be weight challenges with chronic illness. I know that a lot of us have been on both sides of the spectrum, whether it's lost too much weight or gained too much weight, or maybe you're somewhere in the middle. Um, but today, Jerry and I are here to kind of discuss some issues that we've had. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it to Jerry. All right. Uh, so if you don't know me by now, uh, just look me up. It should be pretty easy to click on something. Um, so um, a couple of years ago, I was 230 pounds. Um, was trying real hard to uh, gain weight or lose weight rather. Um, was just overweight from the normal human things, lack of exercise, too many calories, uh, things like that. Um, I now have the opposite problem. I can't keep above 160, almost no matter how hard I try. Uh, three days ago, I got back up of 160, um, and last night I was back down to 158.5, uh, um, which honestly for me, um, having been on both sides of that uh, equation, um, both are frustrating. Both are frustrating. Um, I, I'm having a harder time mentally with being underweight than overweight um, for a number of reasons. Um, one, it's not healthy, obviously. Um, I know I'm burning through way too many calories. Uh, why I am underweight is because I don't uh, take uh, pain meds like uh, I should. Um, and uh, according to my Fitbit that I've turned the gain down, sensitivity, whatever you want to call it, um, I've got a, a lot of data on there. I get an average of at least minimum while sitting down like this 40 to 60 minutes minimum 40 of cardio per day and that's like high cardio 130 beats a minute heart rate right my resting heart rate's 51 um flomax helps control that uh, blood pressure and whatnot so anyway um pain is uh making my body burn through way too many calories and it's extremely frustrating for me. Um, I, I look healthy. That's frustrating to me. Um, everything about being chronically ill is frustrating. But the weight issues um, can weigh pretty heavily on your mind, uh, especially if um, you have an invisible illness um, that uh, you know everybody always associates weight, uh, either high or low, with health. and uh, they really have nothing to do with each other. I would much rather be at a BMI of about 27 than a BMI of 23, um, is what I think I'm at right now, um, which sounds healthy, um, but it's not when I'm trying to gain weight. So um, my point on it is uh, I'm frustrated, guys, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below. Um, you know, click subscribe. Click like, obviously, that helps us out. Gets the word out to more people that uh, hopefully we can uh, share some of our uh, knowledge with and our experiences with. And even if one person comes away from it uh, feeling just a tiny bit better about themselves, it's worth it for everybody involved on our end. Um, but again, uh, my problem is underweight. And I can attest that uh, from this side of the coin, it's frustrating as all get out. Um, it just sucks. It sucks. People think I'm healthier than I am. I look better than I should. Um, that's kind of a joke, um, but it's not. And well, actually, it is a joke in a negative sense. Oh, but anyway, I'm just going to start rambling at this point about how angry I get at it. Uh, so let's jump to Winslow, and then I may uh, jump back on here uh, with some other thoughts. Since it's just us today, we may go back and forth a bit. Over to you, Winslow. Thank you, Jerry. I'm just going to echo kind of what you said. Um, I have also been on both sides of the spectrum. I'm going to show a picture. If, I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the screen. Probably not. Um, and I will post a link to it. But um, this was me prior to my diagnosis of Addison's disease. I am five foot four, so I'm kind of small frame naturally anyways, but I got down to a weight of 80 pounds. 
which was way too small. Um, but that was before I was on steroids. Fast forward about a year, um, steroids have definitely put the weight on me, regardless of how strict of a diet I eat. I follow um, the ketogenic diet and I do physical therapy three times a week. So my weight is completely contributed from the steroids. Um, with Addison's disease, your body does not make cortisol. So you have to have pills that are steroids. So I know that there are three different types of steroids. Um, prednisone, if you've ever been on prednisone, it will put the weight on you within a millisecond. Like you can think about prednisone too much and you gain weight. That's just unfortunately the reality of it. Um, my message to you guys today is that, um, like Jerry said, health and weight are not always equal. Um, you know, I know he talked about having an invisible illness and that sort of thing. My illness used to be invisible. It is no longer. Um, I have these lovely scars that have shown up and all of those lovely things because of the steroid therapy. Um, unfortunately, your body, when it doesn't do what it's supposed to, pills can help, but there's always side effects to things. So um, don't always equate health and weight because sometimes they just don't match up. Um, another thing that I wanna say is that you can't base your self-worth on what you weigh, because I can tell you, there are some beautiful people out here that have gorgeous hair, gorgeous eyes, the best figure in the world, and they are the nastiest souls on the planet. And I had rather be a little larger and have a good heart and help people than be the most beautiful person in the world. So if someone is coming down on you because of your weight, then that, that's a reflection of them and not you, certainly. Um, it's, it's unfortunate that the society has gotten to where looks are so important and there's so many supplements that are being sold, weight loss this, weight loss that, wear the Spanx, wear the, you know, the body contouring and all that sort of thing. And it's just, that's not what's important. How you feel is what's important. How your daily life is, how your quality of life is, is important. Okay, so you might not be a size two, I was very thin. I used to love to wear dresses and all these cute things. And, you know, I, I worked as a resident care director. So I got to dress up a lot with my residents and have parties and, you know, wear cute little outfits. And it's just not the case anymore. But I have to realize that, you know, that's it's not my fault. And if you are struggling with your weight, you know, the, you can do the best that you can and still struggle with it. And that's not a reflection of you. That's not a reflection of anything other than you were burdened with a chronic illness. And that doesn't mean you're lazy. That doesn't mean you're disgusting. That doesn't mean anything other than you fight a harder battle than most. Um, with adrenal failure, I have to be very careful with exercise because if I push my body too hard, I'll go into an adrenal crisis and it will not be good. So. Um, with physical therapy, I, you know, I do exercises and that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I can't go out here and run marathons and I can't go out here and, and, you know, do triathlons like I, I would like to, but I have to realize that doing your best is what's important. So if you're struggling with your weight and you're doing your best, just rest and know that. So that's my point on it. Um, I guess I'll hand it back to Jerry and see if he has any other points. This is just us two today. Yeah, I, I just uh, would challenge anyone that is trying to lose weight. Um, something that, that's a good TED Talk. Uh, maybe uh, I'll link it in the description below at some point. Uh, but uh, maybe I'll just make a comment and link to it on YouTube. Um, where does the weight go? When you are trying to lose weight and you lose the weight, where does it go? Um, it's carbon. It's one carbon molecule that's binding fat together. You breathe out your weight in carbon. That's the only way to get rid of it. Uh, that's not true. 80% is breathed out. 20% is excreted in liquid. Uh, we don't know if it's urine, sweat, or feces. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to put that down below because it really explains the base mechanics of weight loss. Um, please don't buy snake oil on the internet. Please, people, especially if you're a chronically ill person, I know how tempting it is to, to find these miracle things. It works, body wraps, uh, blah, 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 blah.
please don't buy snake oil on the internet. Be happy with who you are. Um, I know it, it can be really hard, um, but that's that's the best that we can do. And that, that's all we can do is the best we can do. Um, so really, um, don't let people bring you down and don't worry about your self-image. Um, the only thing that you need to worry about is your health. Uh, that's about all I got, Winslow. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Um, I'll finish with just this statement. Um, don't ever let what your outward appearance is define you. What's on the inside is truly what counts. And anyone who is going to hold you to a standard of perfection is clearly not looking at themselves. Um, how much better would this world be if we all focused on our inward actions and our words and our thoughts? versus our outward appearance. I just think that that's where the focus needs to be, not just in the chronic illness community, but in the entire world. We truly need to look at how we treat people, the words that we use, how we talk to people. You know, you can, you can lose weight, you can have gastric bypass surgery, you can do all this stuff, but if you have an ugly heart, then that's gonna do more damage than any extra five pounds ever would. So I would just encourage you to look within your heart and find your value there versus your weight. So this has been Jerry and Winslow with the Unchargeables. And again, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.